This next video is going to show you how to measure your blood glucose level after you've consumed some sugar. And that sugar is contained within the glutol drink. So glutol is a cola flavoured drink which contains a known amount of glucose, 75 grams. So following on from a fasting uh, blood glucose test or follow on from fasting conditions, you are then going to proceed to drink your glutol. So you need to be in a fasting state before this. So it's best to uh, follow this test on after you've measured your fasting glucose level. So once you've done that, simply uncap the bottle and drink it. Try and drink it within about five minute period. After that five minutes or after you've finished your drink, then you, you then want to set a timer for two hours. This allows your body enough time to process the glucose and absorb it into your body. We're then going to repeat the glucose measurement as before. So you should have already inserted your code key. Here's my one for my cholesterol test. You don't have to stick your code key in. Your, your monitor will remember which set of test strips it's using, but you can put your code, code key back into the monitor if you so wish. Take a test strip and insert that barcode end into the slot at the top of the monitor. Monitor will come to life and you will see it starts displaying the blood drop icon. Again, you're going to do the same procedure again. So unscrew your lancing device, put your lancet in the lancing pen, twist off the protective cap, put that to one side, and re screw on the pen lid. Choose a depth setting, I'm going with four. Engage the pen to pull back at the end, press against the fingertip, and press haven't quite engaged, engage at the back, press against the fingertip, press down, and you will get a pinprick. Place that to one side. Again, don't squeeze your finger too much. Once you've got a good sized blood drop, remember the glucose test strip, we're going to apply this on the right hand side. So let me show you up close. You'll see and we begin the countdown. So mine is six point two. Grab a piece of cotton wool, hold that over your bloody finger. And now, alongside your non-fasting glucose level, you're going to write the value that you've got, 6.2 in my case. Once that's done, discard your test strip, and you may want to discard of your needle as well. Do this by pressing down on the cap, that just shields the needle, so there's no harm. Remove this and discard, and put your pen back together again. And then you've done your glucose tolerance test. 